So this is section 6.3 of chapter 6 on trig functions and we want to be able to use sec, cosec and cot um, basically to solve simple equations and uh, prove identities and simplify things um, as long as we remember the relationship between them it shouldn't be a problem they're written here at the side yeah and actually because from year one there's one at the bottom here you'll remember that we said tan is sine over cos so that means that the reciprocal cot cotangent is going to be cos over sine so basically what we've done here we've done we've flipped both sides yeah we've done a reciprocal of both sides to get that right so let's have a look here right so part a we want to simplify you've got sine theta cot theta sec theta okay so let's see what we can do right so um sine we can't really do anything with that cot well that's the reciprocal of tan so that is cos over sine we just did that and sec that's one over cos okay i could write sine and sine over one and look at that what happens that and that cancels out that and that cancels out so all we're left with is one everything pretty much everything cancels out part b so we've got sine cos and in brackets we've got sec theta plus cosec theta right so i suppose we could if we wanted to we could start by um expanding the brackets but um i probably would um look at what we've got in the brackets see if we can do anything with with that first okay so um yeah let's let's expand the brackets so sine theta cos theta times by sec theta is like times in by um one over cos i'm going to write it like this yeah so i've already multiplied it out plus then i've got sine theta cos theta times by cosec theta which is like uh, multiplying by one over sine so let's stick it down here yeah so i've just written it at the bottom now what happens in these fractions that cancels out that and get cancels out so all I'm left with is sine plus um, cos that's it done yeah so that was quite easy uh, look for things to cancel out yeah notice how we took the the sec and we took the cosec and we wrote it as its reciprocal yeah right so we want to prove this identity so we've got cot cosec over sec plus cosec and uh, the top that's not too bad we can write that as cot is cos over sine times by uh, sorry that should be cosec cosec which is 1 over uh, sine all divided by now really we want to be able to put these together as a single fraction that will be easier to deal with as it is as two separate terms is going to be tricky 
So uh, sec squared is the same as 1 over cos squared because basically if sec is 1 over cos then you can just square both sides if you want to so if you square it square it or you can cube it you could cube both sides yeah whatever power you do to one side you do to the other and that counts for all of the trig identities or these reciprocal ones so actually I could just put n here for a power that works yeah um, then uh, for cosec that's going to be 1 over sine squared like that right next step um, mine is too long right so the top will be cos divided by sine squared all divided by and what I want to do is to put these two fractions together so I'm going to times the top and the bottom of the first fraction in the fraction by sine squared and the top and the bottom of the second fraction by cos squared and this will be the common denominator yeah that puts them together once you add them together so just make sure you understand that step of getting from here to here so make sure you understand what we've done I've skipped a few things out um, but it's basically just putting those two fractions together so maybe pause it have a look just to check then what that becomes is cos over sine squared sine squared um, let's write it as timesing by the reciprocal of the denominator so that's cos squared sine squared over sine squared plus cos squared ah, I remember that that's one so this bit here sine squared plus cos squared that just becomes one so that just becomes one right so what happens right this cancels out and nicely it just becomes cos cubed so we've pr proved it if I write it as cos cubed rather than cos squared so cos cubed so that's done okay if you want to solve an equation that's got one of these reciprocal identities then you need to do the reciprocal so basically this becomes so sec theta equals minus 2.5 reciprocal of both sides uh, becomes uh, cos theta equals 1 over minus 2.5 so it's about solving that part b cos 2 theta equals 0.6 did reciprocal both sides so that's tan 2 theta equals 1 over 0.6 so that would be your first step right find the first solution we're in degrees because look at the range we're in degrees so change my calculator to degrees back to degrees because I was in radians so if I do the cos inverse of 1 over negative 2.5 I get my first solution as 113.58 one, um, that's two decimal places um, cast diagram to find any other solutions so 113 is over here okay if I do 180 minus my answer to find that gap 
So this is 66.42 degrees. So C-A-S-T, C-A-S-T. I'm trying to solve an equation for cos. I've landed over here, which is negative. Where else is cos negative? So that's going to be over here. So the other solution is going to be um, 180 minus that 66.42. So 180, um, sorry, 180 plus that. And I get 246, 246.42. And then for the second one, now the two feet to me is you go around the cos diagram twice. So let's find the first solution by doing the tan inverse of one divided by 0 0.6. And we get 59.04 to do decimal places, 59.04 degrees. Let's put that on our cast diagram. So it's gonna be about there. So 59.04 C-A-S-T. And um, what we're looking for is we've landed where they're all positive and um, uh, where tan is positive, where else is it positive? Over here. So 59.04 uh, degrees. Now remember, um, uh, sorry, this is not theta, this is two theta. So we need to go around twice and then um, we'll divide them all by two. So the next solution is gonna be 180 plus 59.04. That's the one over here. Then uh, if we carry on, the next one's gonna be 360 plus 59.04. And then the one after that is going to be uh, 450 plus 59.04. So let's work out what all our two thetas are. 59.04. So uh, 180 plus 59.04. Uh, 239.04. Let's do 360 plus 59.04. That's 419.04. And then 450 plus 59.04. And that's 509.04. Now I know these are not in a range. That's because they're two thetas. I just want to know theta. So I'm going to have to divide them all by two. And then some that are not in the range will become in the range. So I'm going to reject anything bigger than 360 after this. So uh, first one divided by 2, 29.52. Uh, next one, 239.04 divided by 2, 119.52. Next one, 419.04. That's not in the range, but when I divide it by 2, it is in the range, 209.52. The next one, 509.04 divided by 2. And that is also in the range. So 254. Let's clear that up. 254.52. So that's now in the range. So notice that uh, when we did things, when we worked out what two theta was, you may have started rejecting solutions, which would be the wrong thing to do because they are what the two thetas are. You then need to divide them by two. Okay, you should now be able to do exercise 6C on page 152. Um, and I'll just write these down um, just to sort of help you. So we said that um, something like cosec, uh, let's not put squared, to a power n 
you can write as 1 over sine to a power n sec to a power is going to be cos to a power which is not squared n and then cot to a power so I need to change that squared I'm so used to writing squared n is and they should all be equivalents 1 over tan to a power n yeah so exercise 6c page 152